some simple instructions on how to delete your IMMO with a K-Line cable. And of course, I'm just using a desktop uh, setup. So once you install the um, cable, I'm using a virtual environment, you're gonna go to, again, on XP, control settings, system settings, hardware, device manager, and you have to see what the COM port is that this thing is plugged into. So right now I have a USB serial port in COM4. So we can close out of all of this, go to the tester configuration INI file, and then change these two right here, the COM ports, both to four. So now with everything connected, you're going to open up the tester, go down here, go to K-Line, go to engine control, read the EEPROM. Sometimes it takes a little bit. to cycle off the power and power back on. So now that the EEPROM has been read, I'm going to save to file. And I'm gonna save it, let's say, as I know this is already off, but I M M O on. Let's call it off. We'll just do that. And then we'll click save. Then we will go to the EDC calculator. EDC calculator pops up, load the file, I M M O off, It'll tell you exactly what's happening. IMMO is currently off. So let's say I want to turn it on. I will click on IMO on, calculate checksum, save it, save it as, we'll put it IMMO on, save, close. Let's make sure this is a bin file. It is not a bin file, so we're gonna rename it to a bin file. So it works. All right, and then we can go back to the EDC checksum just to verify. We can load it. I am on, and it should say on. Now it's on. So we would go back here, and we would uh, write to EEPROM. So if I wanted to write to EEPROM, excuse me, load from file, I am on, open. We're going to write to EEPROM. It is written. So now everything should be back to on. So let me recycle this, go through this process again, pull the file down, I'll call it something else and show you guys that it's actually on. this is somewhat problematic cycle the key on and off open and close the application eventually you'll get it so right now we have read it read it after I did the IMMO on so now we're going to save the file we're gonna call it just the test bin file save we're gonna open up the calculator again and now our IMMO should be on on the ECU so open it, and of course it is on. So again, relatively easy. It is a pain in the butt. Um, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't work great. You might have to jump around different USB ports, but keep playing around as long as the cable is being seen, the software will eventually work and save you 50 bucks. So best of luck.